This is a gateway. This is a TLX. This is the um, the one with the AMD um, right here. Uh, this is a requested video of how to change the, the screensaver from timing out. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. It's a lot of steps. But it's not too difficult. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on this icon right here at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in. So it's a little four icon. Click on that. That pops up. And you want to go to this gear setting right here, right there. Okay, so when you're here, you can click on personalizations. It's over here. Click on that. It'll load you this. If you're not getting this display, it's right there. It's the, it's the little paintbrush icon. You click on that. Okay, so from there, you get lock screen. Click on that. Okay, and you should get this. So this is asking you what you want on your lock screen. Currently, I have the calendar. I have it all defaults and everything. Uh, don't go on screen timeout. I don't know why that doesn't work. For some reason, I just get a loading icon. Uh, but you want to click on screen saver right below it. Uh, from here... You should get the pop-up box. It's right there. See the pop-up box that popped up. Um, as far as this, this is just changes the the screen saver. What it does they have a whole bunch of icons and do all things, bubbles and whatever. Um, this is just like the old icons they used to that they used to bring, so the display doesn't go out. Anyways. So, and it's after the lock screen goes out, how many minutes it takes. You can adjust that as you see preference. But anyways, you click on this little thing at the bottom which says change uh, power settings. Click on that. You should get another box that pops up. Um, from here, it's a little CD thing right here on the bottom. is the fifth one down. Click on that. And there is your to change the the times. So turn off display on battery. That means it is by itself. It's not it's not plugged in at all. Um, so you can change it to whenever you like. Just keep it in mind at five. Um, when plugged in, when it's in, when there's an adapter in. So when there's an adapter in, hit the you know, whatever you want to do, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. And then put it on sleep. This is the full sleep. Um, the full sleep modes are basically how you turn it back on. If it went into full sleep, I'll show you when it goes into full sleep. Uh, let's see here down at the bottom because you can put it into full sleep. Uh, so you just hit the power icon right here. And here is the sleep button. Goes into full sleep. The whole machine shuts itself off. I turn it back on. It's that power button again. Thing comes back right back on. Press enter. Goes in full sleep. Okay. So that's that's the biggest thing, and you can you can change that to what never 15 minutes or whatever depending on how and then if you want more advanced options here's the more advanced options this is just basically if you're on a internet browser or whatever or something different options um, I don't tend to mess with these because this will answer almost everything uh, so but when you're done make sure to hit save Otherwise, you'll have to do it all over again. Uh, so I'm going to cancel out of that. Um, and these are some of the other settings. Change when the computer sleeps. Same thing. Get the same icon. Close what closes the 
lid does when I close, when I shut this thing down. What does this do? Okay, so that's what that does. Basically, right now it's in sleep. So when I hit the power, it says sleep. When it's plugged in, it says sleep. Uh, you can do hibernate, shut down, turn off the display, whatever you like. Um, does nothing. Um, I don't know. I've never Usually, I'm always used to sleep. Um, but I guess apparently it hibernates as well. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, create a power plan. That means just basically when you're going to plug this in, uh, what does the power button do? Okay, so the power button right now currently, same settings, same everything. It puts it into sleep. But I can hit to shut it down or, you know, uh, does nothing or whatever. I don't know. Why somebody would change that unless they're having a lot of problems with the batter or the power button um so but this is this is so you could change this too this is the when it will actually go to the screen saver you could change it to five minutes six minutes usually i like to keep it on about 12. see right here down at the bottom 12 minutes and this is when it'll actually go into this, um, where it does this. Basically, not exactly sleep yet, but it's just like a screen saver so the screen doesn't go out. Um, they do this on a whole bunch of computers. An interesting fact about these is they do it to, to preserve the display. Um, without these, that's what I heard and read online, is it actually saves the display from going dull. Um, that's the first I've ever heard of that, but apparently that's what it does. Make sure you sit, click OK like I did. Um, and after that, I'm going to talk about what this does. So I, when I click on this, the screen timeout, it just does this. I don't know why it's keep on loading like that, but um, I don't know. I hadn't figured that out. But I think that's supposed to be a shortcut, and the shortcut's just not working. Okay, I don't know what it just did. I guess it thought about it and then decided it didn't want to do it. Uh, anyways, that's how you change the sleep modes on your gateway.